It's time for the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for the 10th of February. James Spann here. Very cold this morning. Snow for Alabama Friday. Confidence is good. It's going to snow here, but who and where and how much and when? Let's see if we can answer some questions. Let's go right to some of the shots around the network this morning. First off, coming from Auburn. Will there be snow on Jordan-Hare Stadium by Friday night? Could be. That's uh, one interesting camera we'll be watching later this week. Up in Huntsville, will they miss the show up there in the Tennessee Valley with all the snow staying down south? That's uh, Memorial Parkway at the ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. Some people have losing four cars out there. And in Walker County, and by the way, we are coming to Walker County tomorrow night for our annual severe weather awareness tour across the state. Storm Alert 2010 will be at Summiton at Bevel State at 7. And we hope to see you there. Yep, there we go. You can see the cold uh, trough over the east, screaming subtropical jet stream underneath that uh, low coming into uh, Southern California. And that's going to spin that thing up. And all of the players are definitely on the field for a storm at the end of this week, a winter storm. Cold air, you bet. Temperatures are down in the 20s. The cold spot, Haleyville at 21. And around the nation, look at those uh, numbers up north. As cold as uh, 20 below zero up at International Falls, Minnesota. Here's our watch warning map, and of course, uh, the eastern storm is producing blizzard conditions today over parts of New Jersey, Delaware, and Long Island. And winter storm warnings up all the way from D.C. to Boston, including New York City. And look at that. Uh, Jackson has gone ahead and put up a winter storm watch for uh, some of their counties for the possibility of uh, significant snow on Friday. And you can see that uh, their winter storm watch does include Jackson and Meridian, basically Interstate 20 and points south. Check the snow outlook. That's today. Of course, the big show is up north tomorrow. And this is the probability of four inches or more of snow. Just to let you know what you're looking at here, and you can see the uh, circle there drawn all the way from really New Mexico to near Meridian, Mississippi. And then day three, which is Friday, They've got that uh, snow area drawn from near Jackson to Birmingham, Atlanta, and Greenville, South Carolina. So the guys at HPC are thinking a more northern solution is the right answer, and that's based on climatology, and they might be right. Uh, let's look at the uh, QPF chart quickly. No doubt the heaviest precipitation will be down south, but even uh, this graphic is showing amounts up this way of about, what, one-half inch? Standard conversion, what's that? Five inches of snow here. Let's see if modeling supports that. Here's the uh, Q, uh, the uh, GFS valid at noon today, the 06Z run. Storm number one is on the Atlantic coast. Storm number two is digging down toward Phoenix. Now, uh, down below, look at the blizzard for New York City and Boston. That's a mess up there. And uh, we're dry and cold, and uh, by golly, uh, we've got some uh, uh, flurries out there. Look at the... Uh, Radar composite, it doesn't really show up that well, but we've got snow flurries in Blunt, in Etowah counties, in DeKalb County, Cherokee County. So uh, today will be kind of cold and cloudyish, and again, maybe some morning flurries up there in uh, northeast Alabama. Uh, tomorrow, here comes our storm to the west. We'll go to Friday at noon. This is the GFS, and it's trending farther north. Instead of sending that load down toward the Yucatan Channel, it's a little farther north. Even that's Based on climatology, it looks just too far south. The uh, rain-snow line is near Mobile. And again, that's suggesting the better snows would be well to the south of here, just a little bit up here. Now, Friday at 6 o'clock, the surface low moves up toward Fort Myers. Again, we would have light snow with the better snows down to the south around Dothan, Alabama, and Macon, Georgia. We'll check the NAM, North American Mesoscale model. It's got all the action way down south. This is Friday evening at 6 o'clock. That would suggest basically nothing here, more than really maybe a flurry or two. The RPM, same deal. It kind of goes with the NAM. It's got everything down south. That's uh, uh, Friday evening. But uh, look at the Canadian. Uh, this is valid Friday evening at 6 o'clock. If this is right, that's going to be a whopper of a snowstorm for a large chunk of central and south Alabama. Uh, that's suggesting five inches of snow from about Clanton South down to Dothan. Maybe some heavier snow setting up along uh, US 80 or US 84, Montgomery, Greenville, Troy, Eufaula. And uh, 
up in uh, the Birmingham Metro. That would suggest three inches of snow here. That's a, that is a major big league southern snowstorm right there, if it's correct. And understand the American models don't support that. And the European, again, seems to be kind of a uh, the, the blend between the American models that are so far south and the Canadian that is so aggressive. And that, again, might be our best solution right now. So uh, we'll kind of roll with that idea on Friday of mentioning a good chance of snow, mostly light snow for Interstate 20. Uh, maybe the better chance of the bigger snows down south. And again, we'll kind of target US 80 in our discussion. And if the trend northward continues, we'll slowly trend that accumulation north as well. But somebody down there could get three inches or more. Uh, US 80, maybe even US 84. And uh, that could be kind of messy. Saturday, it's all gone. It's cold. Look at Sunday. Here comes our clipper coming down there toward uh, Fort Smith and down below that uh, pretty strong surface low with that. And, of course, clippers don't have a lot of moisture because there's no ocean up there, but that should bring some light snow maybe Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. I don't think it's enough to really accumulate, but uh, it could snow from that for sure. And then Monday, it turns even colder as that passes us by. Here coming over the snowpack, we'll have a hard time getting above freezing Monday. And Tuesday, again, very cold. The, the moss numbers off the GFS are laughable, much like they were last weekend. And then Wednesday, we are still cold. I mean, goodness, we could use a warm day, but that's a cold day right there. Uh, four days later on the 21st, another snow opportunity maybe. That's a golf system coming in with cold air in place. It looks far south, but again, you know, we obviously can't be specific. And out there toward the end of the forecast, we'll moderate it. this is right. And uh, surface low way up north, all the snow action way up north, and we will be warmer if that's the case. And the AO, the Arctic Oscillation, does begin to trend back up toward that neutral line late this month. Uh, so maybe things will start to feel better by the time we get to March. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.